Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Every week, we go through the same thing and we're doing it again. I'm going to give you my picks for the coming week, which will be week 15. But to recap, in week 14, I was a very mediocre 8-7, and seven, thanks to the Dolphins losing a game that they should have won. Thanks to Green Bay losing a game that they should have won. And thanks to the Bears for winning a game that they should have lost. I mean, that should have been three, right? That should have been three more for me right there. I really should have had another 11 week. But no, no. This is the NFL where uh, it's, you know, not for long if you keep losing games that you're supposed to win. So anyway. Um, so yeah, I was eight and seven last week, um, and and some of the games that I got right, I was lucky to get right. I mean, they were all close games. So we're gonna go. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna take the uh, magic marker again. We're gonna go with dark green. I like the dark green. We'll do that. And uh, let's see. So the first game is going to be on Thursday, December 14th. Plus, I think we have some Saturday games this week. But the first game will be Thursday, December 14th. And that's the Chargers at the Raiders. And uh, this one, if you remember last week, the Raiders lost 3-0. Three 3-0. Nothing. Three nothing. They got nothing. As in, they got Zippolo. Uh, the Chargers, though, I think they're missing Herbert. I think Herbert might be out, at least for this coming week, maybe for the rest of the season. And the Chargers aren't good with Herbert. So I am going to go out on a little bit of a limb here, and I'm going to say the Raiders are going to win this game. Next, you got the Vikings at the Bengals. Now, that uh, guy, Jake, uh, whatever his name is, that took over for Burrow, that guy is awesome. Um, so... I mean, they're not missing a beat with that dude. Forget his last name, but uh, he's the real deal. And the Bengals have the rest of their weapons, um, you know, healthy, their receivers and running backs. The Vikings, yes, they won last week, but I just got done telling you they won 3 nothing. So obviously the Vikings are having issues, and the Bengals are at home. And, uh, yeah, that Jake Billington or whatever his name is, I don't know. It starts with a B, too, I don't, but I don't remember what his name is. But anyway, yeah, they're the real deal. They're still good, and they might just make the playoffs. And they're at home. I'm going to pick them to, to for sure beat the Vikings. Next one you got is the Steelers and the Colts. Man, I hate games like this. I don't know what the Steelers are going to do. They suck. But the Colts lost last week, too. To, uh, and it was a, I mean, it was a close game, but still, I don't know. I, you know, the Colts are at home. I'm going to go with the Colts. I, I think the Steelers might be done. They just got too many problems. But then, you know, they'll go out there and their defense will hold the other team to three points and they'll win, you know, six to three. So I, who knows? But anyway, we're going to go with the uh, Colts in that one. Next one, you got the Broncos and the Lions. Now, remember, the Lions lost last week to the Bears. So they're uh, putting on like kind of a facade that, um, you know, is starting to crumble. You're starting to see the crumbling behind the facade. Um, but the Broncos lost, I think. I think the Broncos lost. I'm not sure. But you know what? In this one, hmm. Again, this is another hard one because the Lions could just as easily go out there and drop a 45 on the on the Broncos as not. But the Broncos' defense has been playing really good football for like the last five or six weeks. I'm going to go out on a little bit of a limb. These are all limbs. Every one of these is going out on a limb because, I mean, who knows? I'm pretty confident in the Bengals over the Vikings. That's about the only one in these four. That I'm that confident in, but I'm going to go with the with the Broncos over the Lions. Next one you got is the Giants and the Saints. The Giants won. What in God's name are the Giants doing, winning? 
beating the Packers with you know that dude that has a name that you know the quarterback is sounds like he's like from the uh, Italian mafia. But anyway, they're playing on the road though against the Saints. The Saints aren't going to have Carr. They're going to. I think they're, they've still got. Um, they still probably still have uh, Jameis Winston. I don't know. I mean, all of these teams are like a revolving door at quarterback. You never know who really is going to be the quarterback the coming week. Um, but ah, it's tough. This is tough. Every one of these is tough. I could easily be like. The, this is five games right here. I could be easily be 0-5 with these picks I just made. Um, I'm going to go with the Giants. I mean, the, the Giants seem to be the hot hand. That guy, the Italian Mafia quarterback, seems to be pretty good. Next one you got is the Bears and the Browns. I'm going right to the Browns. We're going to take the Browns at home. They're at home. They've got um, the, uh, the dude that used to be on the... Uh, Flacco. They got Flacco at quarterback, and man, Flacco looked good last week. Now, sure, the Bears, the last, I mean, what are they, like five and four in their last nine, okay? That's not going to light anybody on fire. But uh, yeah, I, I just can't, the, the Bears are going to have to prove it to me. They're just going to have to prove to me a little bit more that they're the real deal. But the Browns have a good defense, and they got Flacco playing like the Flacco of 10, 10 or 15 years ago. So we're going to go with the Browns at home. Falcons, Panthers, again, this is another one. This could be a trap game. I mean, the Panthers suck, but the Falcons, you know, I've said in past weeks I like what the Falcons are doing. Well, I don't anymore because they're just they're bad. So uh, I'm going to go with the Falcons only because I really should. You know, you don't go with a 1-11 team. You just don't pick a 1-11 team to win. Buccaneers at the Packers. Again, we've discussed these games from last week. And the Packers lost to the Giants. They had no business losing to the Giants. None. Now they're at home. It's probably going to be cold. The Buccaneers may not be used to playing in the cold. I'm going to give the edge to the Packers because of that, and really only because of that. Because they haven't really, you know, who knows. Jets, Dolphins. The Dolphins are another team. You, you think they're like, you know, they're being touted as one of the best three, three teams in the AFC, but are they? I mean, they just lost last week to the Titans. So, uh, and the Jets... Man, the Jets look like, Zach Wilson looked like uh, uh, Joe Namath, Willie Joe Namath last week. So, uh, and they have a pretty good defense, and maybe they're energized now because Zach Wilson played like he did. But no, you got to go with the Dolphins at home. They're in Miami. It would just be irresponsible to pick the Jets, even though they did have a great game last week. Now you got the Chiefs and the Patriots. Even though the Chiefs have had their problems, the Patriots really have too. I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Um, now, if you know, if their guy, um, I forget that guy's name, but man, that dude needs to stay on sides. And he needs to catch balls that are thrown to him. But, uh, you know, I digress. The next one, these, I hate, this is the worst slate of games I've seen all year. Can I just tell you this? I could come out of here with two wins. Two right. I Really. All right, you got the Texans at the Titans. Again, the Titans, somehow, they, uh, they beat the uh, Packers. We don't know how. I mean, I don't. If you, if you do, leave a note in the, in the description about how that happened. Um, but the Texans don't have C.J. Stroud, and I think without Stroud... They are a lion with no teeth. I'm going to take the Titans at home. Just because they're home, I'm going to take them in a close one. This would be a real close one. Um, and really, the Texans will have Davis Mills at quarterback, and he's decent. He's, you know, he's doable, especially if he has a week of practice, but I'm still going to stick with the Titans here. 49ers Cardinals, thank 
God. This is the first one that's a lock. We're going to go with the 49ers easily to crush the, the Cardinals. Now, you know, I say that, and yet I'll probably go like, you know, 14-1, and one, and the game I get wrong is this one. But no, I don't think that's going to happen. But I'm going to go with the 49ers on the road. Commanders at the Rams, we're going to take the Rams. The Commanders are in disarray. I don't think they're that great of a team. They have all kinds of problems. Cowboys at the Bills. I took the Cowboys last week to beat Philadelphia because I thought the Cowboys are back. And they did. They did not disappoint. They crushed Philadelphia. And I think they're going to beat the Bills. And they're, so this is another big road win right here for the Cowboys, I think. The Bills won, but they won because that, that dude lined up off sides. That dude doesn't line up off sides. The Bills lose that game to Kansas City. Ravens at the Jags. Ah, You know, the Jaguars have, have slipped a little lately. And the Ravens, though, the Ravens had to win in overtime against, like, I think, I'd, who was it? I don't remember, but it was a team they should have handled. I think it was the Colts. Maybe the Colts? But anyway, they won in overtime in a game that they shouldn't have been going to overtime. But I'm still going to take the Ravens. you got to take the Ravens here. They're the better team. And then you've got the uh, Monday night game, and that's going to be the Eagles at the Seahawks. Even though the Eagles got crushed and looked bad against Dallas, i got to believe they can beat the Seahawks because the Seahawks have been reeling. All right, so that is my picks for the week. I can tell you this is not my favorite week to have picked, uh, but that's how we're going with. So let me just, I'm going to scroll up. You can take a quick look at who I'm picking. Write these down. Write these down, and if you think um, that maybe I'm out of my mind, you can go pick the other teams. So there we go, and that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.